And hello everybody, this is Gamer with Opinions, Dentatus from War Alliance on 119 uh, in the game Infinity Kingdom. And we're back with another tutorial videos, and yes, we are back with Immortals. Um, the Immortals do require more than a couple of videos to cover them completely. They're, they are really the master key to build your all att attack line. So, we're gonna, in this video, we're gonna uh, try to understand how to maximize our uh, rankings uh, for the Immortals. How to level them up and how to level up teams at the same time uh, in an efficient manner. So, as explained in the uh, previous video, I've explained everything for those sections, right? So, now we're gonna concentrate on what exactly we should up, when, and how. So, this is the easiest to boost, all right? It's dependent on the quality of your, uh, of your immortal to start with. And uh, these are generated by the well, all right? So, you get the pieces from the well. You have to farm them by completing different levels all right so you need to unlock those levels first uh that being said um it is uh important that you start okay when you start the game you will be handed a workable waterline and random stuff you need to figure out what will your attack line look like like are, are am i going to build something like lightning or fire or earth or whatever you want to build all right i already explained what i thought were the better choices in an, a previous video once you have found what is your uh let's say end game all right formation the one that you really want then what you do is that you up your water archetype because that's the free one you start with it so you need it to farm so you you hop up a, a bit but you don't invest majorly in it all right you don't have to uh, as long as it reaches something like 30k eventually uh it's quite fine for farming concentrate on trying to get the fragments for your other line in my case i started with of course the farming build but I started at level 1 working right away on the uh, earth line because I did get uh, nice uh, poles in the heart uh, and it's one of the most desirable uh, really uh, to have because uh, this is very really resilient, doesn't cost that much to build, uh, will bring you to a uh, higher level easily, uh, especially if you configure the right talents on them. So uh now what you do is that you have your farming line and you have your second line like let's say that here my uh farming line is my earth line all right it's good but this is not my end game this is not what i want as a, a first line in my end game what i want as a first line in an end game this i would be speaking would be a holy line i already have a couple of pieces and I got a third one here that I can work on while trying to get whatever to complete it. That this would be my hand game, all right? This this is what's really desirable. Uh, my options include actually I can have those two, Joan, and then I once this guy is ready because he's not, but uh, I just got him. He's the best for Earth, right? Uh, so I'm working on getting uh, the rewards for him. Core will be nice for that. Uh, so eventually, it will go onto my first line and replace somebody. Uh, preferably speaking, you would be replacing uh, probably Leo. Uh, so, but uh, you don't know, all right? Uh, if I if I don't if I can't get his medals, uh, he's gonna take his place basically. So that's it. So I farm with this and I give like right now the most workable line that I can build, a powerful line that I can build workable is fire. I got my two golden heroes here and I got a Genghis Khan, which is awesome. 
uh, in a fire build. The Genghis is an awesome character that you can use in many, many builds like Cleopatra, like Zenobia, like Merlin. Those can be switched from elements to elements. They keep their quality. As long as you keep Resonance 4, uh, you can go with uh, Resonance 3 on lesser lines, all right? But on your main line, you want Resonance 4, of course. So, uh, so now what I do, very simple. Uh, let's say that I'm going to go here. He's 13, 12, 12, and 12. All right. She's the most advanced one in uh, the leveling up. Like she's needed, needed only one more piece. So this is the one I should be farming. All right. I have zero. I need 23 of those. Gonna take a while. So, and I have only one try. All right, uh, I can try to get to 10.8. I haven't pushed yet. I could try to do that to unlock this uh, and have three tries, but three tries is not needed. Two chapters, more than enough to farm it, but uh, I'll farm it once. Just so you see my logic. So I got a few fragments of this, not ready, but did I? No, I didn't. Uh, not yet anyway, so we're going to select another one. Let's say I'm going to go for Leo, even if I haven't started on him yet. He's the highest level and he doesn't need that much here. And I have lots of tries, so I'm going to raid up my all my points, all right? Uh, I keep bottles in reserve uh, because when I want to really get a piece. So I farmed a few thrice here, got a few pieces, but look what happened. I got something for Alexander. So now Alexander has been up one, is almost ready to be leveled up, and I didn't have to spend points to level him up. So I advanced my main character, a secondary character got an advanced as well. Uh, this will also work the same logic for here, my second line and my third line, all right? This is the best way of maximizing for the ranks here. Moving on. Here, fragments. Of course, hardest part to get. Soul fragments are very, very hard. If you are in a free to play mode, uh, you have to be scroungy with them. You really have to be scroungy with them. Yeah, you really have to think, am I going to spend those on this? Because they have low capacity of recycling once invested. Uh, you're losing. Like, you can invest in a bad character, all right, and recycle it uh, by uh, dismantling it. But dismantle will cost you 20% of resources invested in it. That's a lot. Uh, that's a, a big hit to take in a free-to-play, uh, all right? Uh, spending players, well, if you have a big credit card that you don't mind abusing, sure, go ahead. But otherwise, you know, be smart about it. So what you do is that you really target what you need. First thing that you need is a workable archetype to farm with, water. So what do you do? If you have Merlin, invest in him. He's the best one. You'll be able to uh, switch him and uh, into your next line as a magic user. Uh, once your other line is getting better than your water line, you'll be able to just switch him, use him. Uh, and the talent you can carry uh, are amazingly good at eye level. So this guy, definitely worth upping. The rest, eh, don't, don't really waste time investing. Just go with the freebies. You're getting freebies by summoning the immortals and stuff. Up those with the freebies, basically, and work instead on their level and their ranks. All right. So that's it. So once you have isolated the uh, things you want to buy, why I say that you have to be very careful about managing this is because you need the soul fragments basically for two things. Well, uh, the purple shard that gets you the... the the fragments. First, here, the market. One of your best source of fragment that you can get. All right. Thing is, you need to have 
stuff on hand to be able to buy. Like when you're getting gems by, you know, you see, uh, oh yeah, you've got instant summon, 6,000 gems. Yeah, right, 50 bucks. <laughs> That's 50 bucks for a free summon. Think about it carefully. Do I really want that guy that bad before pushing the button? All right, but at the same time, you can use your purple shards to get the lesser heroes to complete a line, to have really, like I said, a working line. So you can work with that. They can be disassembled later. This investment will not be major. As you see, 10 costs you 500. It's not that bad to level, level up a few, uh, one or two purple. And that way you have something workable, something that can bring you rewards to upgrade. All right. so. Market, be careful, really careful. Uh, target only and specifically what you want to hop. Like right now, me, I'm targeting uh, Alexander. All right. Basically, I'm buying only Alexander. If I see uh, Richard, I'll take. If I see Genghis, I'll take. That's it. And even then, I have to look, is it gems or is it purple shards? All right. Now, moving on, purple shards, the other thing is this tower. You need massive amount to get the right talents. Example, to get a level seven here, it's 28,000 shards. Free to play player, you can appreciate how long it is to get a stack like this. And that's to go from level six to level seven. You have paid six level increase before that. That's a lot of shards. Pay player do have an unfair advantage, which I will get very soon. At level 10 here, you get a you get free summoning stones, two of them per day. Uh, so shards, you get a plenty because with all the other rewards, uh, basically, you summon every other day a full summon. So that gives you access to shards. That gives you uh, access to what you need. Easy, make it easier. But trust me, it's really not all the solution to your problems. Really not. So moving on, what you do here, uh, you again, you target only specific, very specific talents that you need for your lines. Example, uh, we were saying that the first archetype uh, was water, all right? I will need something to put on water, so I'll get a magical talent for uh, Merlin to start with, all right? Once he has the required uh, level to be able to wield the talent, then I'll get him a magical talent, but preferably, instead of getting like a level one talent, a green one, uh, I'll hold and get him a blue one. All right. Preferably speaking, you can recycle talent as well. The, the thing is that the acquisition cost is high uh, and that one is not refunded. So you always keep a level one in the skill once you have acquired it, even if you disassemble it. So uh, when you uh, go into the higher uh, tiers, like let's say a, a purple one will cost you 8,000. Uh, so that's a lot to, for the, to get the first level. After that, it's cheap for a while, but to get the first level, it's 8,000 pop. So again, must not mess up, must select the careful ones. Uh, to give an idea, Merlin, well, he really wants concentration as a first talent. That's the first thing he wants. Um, as a backup, you can have either, uh, stun or silence, uh, as a, um, as a talent that you can use. Don't invest too many points in those. Uh, but, uh, the only one of them don't. Pick the two, only one of them, because basically they serve the same purpose. And it is to be equipped uh, on heroes at certain specific stage in the well. 
uh, so that you can go through those stage without having to do massive level up. Uh, I'll give an example of that, 8-8, eight, eight, the dreaded 8-8 eight, eight in the Well of Time. 8-8 um, eight, eight is all about uh, strategy. All right, if you want to go at it sheer power, uh, dang, you're going to need a 100k line to do it. <laughs> if you want to do it smart, uh, you can hit it with uh, maybe 60 to 75k, uh, depending on the archetype and the talents you have. So what do you do here to be able to to uh, do to do it properly? Uh, I would love to demonstrate it. Uh, I guess I'll burn something to show it. Uh, no, 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 I'm not going to pay gems. Sorry, guys. I'm going to show it in another video. I'm going to explain it. So first thing first, you need either the stun or the sil silence talent equipped on somebody. That's very important. The way the, the fight works, the first line is kind of weak. So deactivate the auto battle that you should never have on to start with. And uh, then uh, you uh, start on the first line. Do not use the dragon. Use only one immortal talent, two at most i recommend one and holding on the rest um you'll get through the line and if you're configured well you'll lose about eight to ten percent uh health with the first line you get to the second line when you engage the second line this is what's important depending on the type of uh, element you're playing but always come to, uh, come to the same um uh, you uh, want to hit uh, full blast right away when you get in, all right? Because the machine doesn't have protection at that time. So your damage is going through fully. So you want the dragon, you want everything to be unleashed there. So just activate auto battle. It'll empty everything, deactivate it, all right? So now here's the tricky part. You got to look at the machine. It's going to say absorb, 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 shield, 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 max, uh, <clears throat> magical damage, down, 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 down. He's protecting like heck. He has lots of protections. When you see your stun talent activate, or when you see a normal attack go through, you'll see the damage in gold uh, over his head. You'll see that there's some golden damage scored. You can activate your auto fight and get all your damage through, he's open. So you can get him, the damage will be scored. Deactivate again, all right? If your line is well configured, they'll be able to take the kicks he's giving you. Your line should be able to regenerate as it goes uh, and should be able uh, with the right talents, like uh, let's say uh, a shield on somebody like Leonidas or any type of fighter like that, uh you know healing talents on Zenobia uh something like a magical uh, heavenly thunder on uh, Cleopatra on the Merlin uh, on any spellcaster really that'll get you through all right this is the key you really need the right talents that's why you need to invest uh properly in them all right so it's just rip it and rinse, rinse for the rest, all right? It's really wash, repeat, rinse. It's really easy, but you have to do it manually. Uh, so that's that. Next, for the immortals. I think I've covered everything here about the shards, the fragments, what you need to know for the talents, all right? Just follow the sim simple rules. Ask players that are bigger than you that have good formations and seem to have good knowledge uh, to uh, advise you on what talent you should get for your immortals. You can copy those two here. It's, uh, those you want on Leonidas, if you're playing Leonidas, you're using them at high level on many, all right? Same thing, let's say, with this talent. You really want that. 
that's pretty good. Fire Nova with Dead Breath, that's pretty good. You know, Concentration that I have on her right now, because that's the optimal for her at this time. I can't get Dragon Breath yet. Uh, that's over my level. So, but this boosts her nicely, and I'm not wasting the points here. It's going to be recycled on somebody else after. This is why you have to invest, again, you have to pick the right talent so that you can move them into your secondary lines, uh, which becomes your first line eventually in over time. So now, level here. Important, but don't go crazy. What I mean, a farming line, a starting farming line, level 15 to 20 is more than enough in XP. So don't invest scrolls over that. Keep scrolls. You're going to up your first line, whatever it, it will be, and with it instead. Once it's pretty high level, how to manage your XP scroll? Farm XP. You have many uh, ways to do that. All right. Once you have farmed the XPs and you see the one tap appearing, use it once, get out of there. Go check if there's another immortal you can one up with. Uh, same thing because usually they should be pretty much advanced at the same level. Sometimes you have guys that will gain more for XP bonuses uh, purposes, uh, but most of the time they will stay pretty equal. All right. Uh, so like here, I could look. See, I don't have enough yet to hop him. No point in actually spending the scrolls. Maybe I want to hop something else before for some reasons, like a Mysterium or whatever. All right. So next. So the experience, you know, it's important, but target yourself and pace yourself. Once you have reached level 30 with those, Really slow pace yourself on uh, getting them up. Farm more than you use XP scrolls. Uh, you'll be needing the scrolls to build your other lines. Uh, nobody can live with only one good line. Yeah, it's very important to, yeah, to have the major strike line, but you need a backup line. If, for anything, your walls, because at high level, you do need some really good defense at least. Uh, it's, it's needed. You are a target when you are high level. You're worth points. The more you grow, the more points you represent, the better the target you make, especially for bigger castle than you. So, that is done. Equipment. Two things about equipment. Quality. Levels. Quality. Well, golden. Don't dream too hard about it. Mostly bot. All right. Super hard to farm, super hard to earn, uh, but they do make a great difference. Uh, so, not telling you to buy them at all. Really not, because this is heavy spending when you when you want to acquire them. But uh, if you can get your hands on some uh, from any uh, means possible, uh, other than spending, I'm talking about, uh, jump on them work hard to try and get them and jump on on them because they make the great difference between the 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 rank difference between a purple and a gold is not funny it's not funny if i look at uh, at this look at the stats it gives all right gonna find uh what is he, he is with the hammer so i think i have no yeah that's the same equipment so that's a blue quality, sadly. Do I have any purple quality here? It's golden. Oh, there. See, that's a level 35, a bit, a bit inferior. But look, it's really not paying that much compared to the other one. So that's why the golden ones are really, really, really great. But they require also not only... Do you need to uh, work really hard or spend to get them? But getting the shards for them, the green shards, uh, that requires a lot of farming gnomes. Telling you right now, or Tarantula. Of course, as soon as you got some decent power going, Tarantula will be your best source for green shards. All right, so there's not much to say about the equipments. 
uh, except one thing, work on sets. The logic is to work on sets here. So you, you try to up the, the sets, uh, but you see here you have two magic users, which makes it easier and com more complicated to cycle your stuff. I saw it, one of them, give one of them the best equipments, all right? And then you will be able to give to the second one the already upgraded equipment uh, from the first one once you get better uh, for the first one. Uh, like here, it's two magical casters. So they're going to use same stuff. Uh, but see, Merlin is in purple already. I put him on purple because I don't want to per put her on purple yet. I don't have the shards to get the levels of the equipment all done. She would lose power. And I need Merlin strong. I need my uh, water line to be stronger. So he'll be carrying purple eventually. I'm working on him there. She's gonna get her pur she's getting her purple and I'm going to work it one piece at a time and I'll be holding here. I want to, as you see, I haven't invested anything in that one, so I don't have resonance. I will invest the basic spendings in there just to get a few resonance going because they are not expensive, ex uh, expensive at first, but I'm not going to go for like the 25 right away. I need the shards to up the levels here especially on the purple one. And there's also those purples or golds that I want. All right, so uh, those would be my main priority. And uh, to give an example, uh, upping these from 25 to uh, 30, which is the maximum rank, will cost you just under, just shy of 50K uh, shards, green shards. So figure it out, it's a pretty long time uh to farm sometimes is if you don't have the ap's and the lines for it so that's pretty uh, that's basically it guys this is how you try to maximize your immortals the last thing last piece of advice i can give you is about the well all right don't try and rush uh too hard on the well you have to stop at some point uh, once you, you've you reached levels where you can get a lot of pieces to up your immortal ranks uh, from those levels you already have opened, stop there, farm the, the appropriate level, rank it up, all right? Once you're limited by the ranking up because, hey, I need new chapters, then you can go and start on the new chapters. It's worth it. It's not worth spending the APs and stuff on further level that you're not going to use anyways because you're gonna have to farm lower tier to get your ranking up, all right? That's the last piece of advice I could uh, give you. So as usual, uh, people, you can leave me a like, subscribe, share, and follow. Um, please, commentaries, that is what I like. Leave your questions in the commentaries uh, or even Straight up commentaries, critics are welcome. How do you expect me to improve this or tell you what you want to know if you don't talk to me, people? So uh, that's it for now. Uh, I'll wish you all a good day, good health, take care of everybody. Uh, last little note, uh, everybody new to the game, everybody uh, that uh, wants to learn the game, have fun. Uh, well, you can come and join us on 119. Uh, we're a pretty fun server, uh, and uh, we have a few alliances that could uh, uh, host you guys and teach you. So, until next time, take care.